In this video, we'll look at how to write ionic equations for chemical reactions. An ionic equation is an equation that shows us which atoms or ions are being reduced and which are being oxidized. If lithium chloride reacts with sodium, sodium displaces lithium. This produces sodium chloride and lithium. The first step for writing an ionic equation is to write out the formula for each atom or ion involved in the reaction. Lithium chloride contains two ions, Li plus and Cl minus. Pure sodium is simply Na, it has no charge. Sodium chloride contains Na plus and Cl minus ions, and pure lithium is simply Li, it has no charge. Now that we have the formulae of all of the atoms and ions written out, the next step is to combine them into one big equation. All the atoms and ions in the reactants on one side, and all the atoms and ions in the products on the other. If we combine these ions, we will have Li plus, Cl minus, and Na in the reactants react to form Na plus, Cl minus, and Li in the products. The last step is to delete the formulae of any spectator ions or atoms. Spectator ions are ions that simply watch the reaction without really taking part themselves. They're ions that have not been either oxidized or reduced during a reaction. Because oxidation is the loss of electrons and reduction is the gain of electrons, that means they have not lost or gained any electrons, so their charge will not have changed. So we look for any ions or atoms in our equation that have not changed their charge. In our equation, the only ion that doesn't change is the chloride ion, Cl-. We have a Cl- on both sides of the equation and it doesn't change, so it's a spectator ion. We can cross out the formula for Cl- from both sides of the equation. Finally, we can rewrite our equation without the spectator ions. For this example, that would be Li plus and Na produce Na plus and Li. Here are some practice questions for you to try. Pause the video and give them a go. In the first equation, the spectator ion is the calcium ion Ca2+. Its charge doesn't change during the reaction, so it isn't being oxidized or reduced. We can delete these spectator ions. For the second question, we start by identifying the atoms and ions in the equation. MgO contains Mg2+, and O2- ions and 2Na simply contains two uncharged sodium atoms. Sodium oxide contains two Na plus ions and an O2 minus ion, and pure Mg is just an uncharged Mg atom. We have oxide ions on both sides of the equation, so we can cross them out. If we rewrite the equation without them, we have Mg2 plus and 2Na produce two Na plus ions and Mg. In the last question, the ions are 2Na plus, S2 minus and 2K produces 2K plus, S2 minus and 2Na. The S2 minus is a spectator ion, so we cross it out. That gives us a final ionic equation 2Na plus plus 2K produces 2K plus plus 2Na. Thanks for watching. I hope the video was helpful for you, and I'll see you in the next one.